Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure front door and how to create Azure front door. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm, I'm logged on to the portal. So before we you know proceed with creating an Azure front door, let me tell you what is Azure front door. Azure front door is a global scalable entry point that uses the Microsoft Global Edge Network to create fast, secure and widely scalable web applications. With this technology, uh, with the front door, we can transform the global consumer and enterprise application into robust, high-performing, personalized modern applications with contents that reach a global audience through Azure. So, Azure front door, it works at layer 7, both HTTP and HTTPS layer using any cast protocol with split TCP and Microsoft's global network to improve global connectivity. Based on the routing method, we can ensure that front door will route the client request to the fastest and most available application backend. An application backend is any internet facing service hosted inside or outside of Azure. Front door provides a range of traffic routing methods and backend health monitoring options to suit different applications needs and automatic failover scenarios so much kind of similar to traffic manager is your traffic manager front door is resilient to failures including failures to an entire is your region and why would we use azure front door because it sounds like it is similar to traffic manager with front door, we can build, operate, and scale out the dynamic web applications and static content. Front door enables us to define, manage, and monitor the global routing for the web traffic by optimizing for top tier end user performance and reliability through quick global failover. So it includes accelerated application performance, intelligent health probing, URL path based routing for request much kind like application gateway it enables of uh, hosting of multiple websites much like application gateway it also has a cookie based session affinity ssl offloading we can define our uh, custom domain as well and the application security is integrated with waf so i can or anyone can integrate azure front door with application gateway or azure front door with WAF policies, web application firewall policies. Now we can redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS with URL redirect. Like if you have done it in WordPress or 302 redirect URL methods, then you know what I'm talking about. You can use custom forwarding path with URL rewrite. And it has HTTP2 protocol support as well. And if you want to know what's new uh, in Azure front door, then you can go into the Azure updates page or read a few blogs about it. So now if you would know how to create one using Azure portal, you can create Azure front door using portal, PowerShell, CLI or ARM template. But to start this, we will create Azure front door. So let me create two instances of a web app so what i'll do is i'll click on create a resource and i'll quickly create a web app don't worry this is still as your front door video that we are working on it's just that to demonstrate i will have to create two instance of a web app right so my subscription i'm going to create new resource group and i would name it uh, front door qs underscore rg1 mm. I'm gonna name it test wa1 I'm gonna go with code I would select the runtime stack as dotnet code 2.1 And I will go with 
central us and the operating system would be windows so windows plan i'm going to create a new service plan i'm going to name it my app service plan central us standard I would go with standard I would click on review create it is creating my web app and after my deployment is complete I'm going to create a second web app right so I'm going to click on create here I'm going to open up a new tab I will switch over to my directory. I'm going to create a new web app. Web app. I'm going to create a new resource group. I would name it front door underscore RG2. Gonna name Web app two. I'm gonna go with same, but the region would be different. So I'm gonna go with South Central US for this one. I'm gonna create a new app service plan. My app. South Central US Standard Review Create and I will after the validation is complete I'm gonna click on create. Okay. So it is creating my second web app as well. Alright now i will create a front door for my application right so i will go and open up a new tab i can do this in the same tab as well so just for the sake of flimplicity i am doing it in the new tab so that i can show you what all resources we have created right so i'm going to click on create a resource In here I will type front door here it is create I'm gonna deploy it in the resource group I'm gonna click on create new I will do front door QS underscore RG zero you can name it anything region I'm gonna go with central US configuration and here you see in, in the front end domain so I'm gonna click on this plus sign this will add a front end host so I can do contoso dash front end okay front end should be available okay I click on add leave these options as default disabled This is my front end domain, right? So next I will create a backend pool that contains my two web apps. So I will click on add. I will name this my backend pool. Add a backend. Backend host type is my app service. 
subscription pay as you go. This is my I created my first web app. I'm going to go with the default. I'm going to click on add. Now I will add another web app. App service. This is my second web app. And I click on add. This is now what I'll, I get right. HTTPS. Path is home second. Home page, I click on add. Step 3. Now it comes. Finally, we'll add a routing rule. A routing rule will map the front end host to the back end pool. And the rule forwards the request for my front end to the my back end pool, which contains my two web, web apps. I click on plus sign here. So I can do, you can name it anything. Location rule accepted HTTP HTTPS. This is my front end name. Route type would be forward and it is forwarding to my back pool for HTTPS only. I click on add. The view and create. running the validation validation is passed I'm going to click on create it is now creating a front door it is submitting the deployment the deployment is in progress and I will pause and come back after it is done okay it is done I'm going to click on go to resource This is my front end URL. So if I click on it, it will take me. So if I would have deployed my web apps with the code, or I would have downloaded the sample code from Microsoft documentation, and then I would have seen the content of the the code that has deployed onto my web app. So let's say in the scenario where, and if I stop one web app, then still. I would be served from the second web app and until I you know there's a situation wherein both of these web apps are stopped or are not working properly then I would not be served so if any one is working then I would uh, you know get a web page by accessing this front door URL so you know you see this scenario right so in application gateway you deploy two VMs in the back end in here you have deployed two web apps in the back end and you have the front door URL that you configured here right so if you would go to front door designer this is where you deployed your front end domains your pack and pools and your routing rules if you want to add edit it you can do it now right And if you would see the web application firewall, you can add a policy. So if you want to remove a policy, you want to apply a policy, you can create a new policy as well. Right. So I hope this session was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.